I needed to be slapped in the face by the 16 year old mod son that's like, wake up, dude. You are so lucky that you get to do this. Hello everyone, my name is Modson. I would like to be your best friend and this is Unlocked. This is my home screen. This is me and Avril when I proposed to her in front of the Eiffel Tower. It was uh, the most like magical memory that I've made in my life. It is my home screen. I get to look at it every single day and see that smile looking down at me. I'll never forget that feeling like getting down on my knees and just being like, oh my God, I'm only doing this once in my life and I just wanna like say everything to her. Luckily she said yes, so I, I, I think I said what I needed to say. Probably the app that I visit to the most is called Sober Tool. It shows me how many days I have been sober, which right now I am three years, three months, and 11 days. This number is actually showing me how much I've saved throughout that time, which is about to hit $300,000, which tells you where my addiction was at. Is everything where I want it to be? No, but I am actually sitting in this chair right now. I don't want to die, you know? So I'm very proud of that one. I'm about to release a short film for my brand new song called Battle Scars. Here is a trailer for the short film. I like the first shot better than the last. This song, Battle Scars, was the first song that I made after I got sober. It was about having to choose myself, having to get on the right path, having to hold myself accountable, but also understanding that like I'm worth it and the things around me are affecting me in ways that I need to start fresh. And I, I'm not trying to sit here and be like, I'm a visionary, I just think a trait of a visionary would be someone who like closes their eyes when they're making a song or hears a song and for some reason all these images start playing in their head you know i've never had a moment of silence in my life you know what i'm saying there's always some kind of internal dialogue happening there's always some kind of visual going on as much as i love the fact that my phone keeps me stimulated i want my like internal dialogue to be very peaceful and not feel like i owe the world posts all the time. For me as an artist posting wise, I think I'm the most into Instagram still. I do make an effort to reply back to almost every single person that leaves a comment. And that really does come from me. After a couple hours, it gets, a, it gets crazy to keep up with it until the next post. Every time I post, I spend at least like an hour or two on that post replying to people. Like, these are my most recently liked songs on Spotify. Mod Sun, Battle Scars. Then, Lips of an Angel by Hinder. I don't know why that song just re-entered my ether within the last couple of days, but it did. Dude, what a great song. As a child, as a young man, when music was just seeping into my DNA and literally becoming my lifeline and the only thing that mattered to me, there was an artist named Dashboard Confessional and I would ride around my city screaming, with my windows all the way up though, <laughs> screaming my lungs out, wishing that I wrote the songs of Dashboard Confessional. And just recently, Dashboard Confessional left a comment on my post about Battle Scars where he wrote, love this song, right there. That to me is like winning a Grammy. Do I want more? Absolutely, dude, absolutely. I'm just like every everyone else with the human condition. You, you get what you, you, uh, what you dreamed of and then you go, well, I still want more, what's going on? I thought this was gonna make me happy. It's like, yo, it's the human condition, people. My name is Mod Sun, that was my phone tour. This is me signing off and Locking up.